Manja, manja. Here's how you make the best slice of pie you ever had. And brother, I ain't talking cherry. I'm talking pizza pie. Here's what you need to make the dough. First, we're going to proof our yeast. This will give it a head start and make sure that the dough will rise a little bit quicker. In a small bowl, add your water, your yeast, your malted barley syrup, and your honey. If you don't have malted barley syrup, feel free to skip it, but it gives the dough a surprising amount of flavor. All right, mix it with a spoon and allow it to get foamy, about five minutes. If it doesn't get foamy, your yeast is dead. Why don't you uh, start over with some better yeast there, dummy? Once it is foamy, add your olive oil and set it aside. In a large bowl, combine your bread flour, your parmesan, and your salt. Now you can combine the liquid and the dry stuff together and knead it by hand, but you'll probably pray for a swift death five minutes in. Use your food processor and pulse the dry and the wet together until a slightly sticky dough forms. Dump it onto a floured surface and knead it until it forms a ball, about a minute. All right, now place it in a greased bowl, cover, and allow it to rise for about an hour or so, or until it's doubled in size. Like that! Carefully punch it down, form it into a ball, and divide it in two. This recipe makes two 12-inch pizzas, so you can wrap your other dough in plastic and keep it in the fridge for a couple days until you're ready to use it. At this point, you're going to want to preheat your oven as high as it gets. Also, make sure to slide in your pizza stone or an upended aluminum sheet into the oven while the oven gets hot. All right, now it's time to roll out on a floured surface, of course. Once you get the dough to the size you want, about 12 inches, fold it into fourths and place it on a floured pizza peel. This is going to help us get it into the hot oven easy. Shake it around so you know that the dough won't stick. All right, and here's what you need to make a plain New York slice. First, poke hella holes into your dough, leaving about half an inch on the rim unpoked. You know, your crust. Brush it down with olive oil, and be sure to keep shaking the peel a little as you go so it won't stick. Then add your tomato sauce. I'm using some of my homemade batch, but use whatever you like. Spread it thin all the way to the crust. Top it with shredded mozzarella and parmesan. Get it as even as you can. Then slide it carefully into your hot oven. Now I wouldn't leave the kitchen at this point. I usually watch it as it cooks. It's pretty mesmerizing and can go from perfect to hella burnt really quick. Depending on your oven, this should take five to eight minutes. Take it out when it looks right is all I can tell you. Use your pizza peel. All right, now allow your pizza to cool a few minutes, then slice it up however you like. If you wanna serve it New York style, slap it on the cheapest paper plate you can find with plenty of napkins. Be sure to insult whomever you give a slice to. Hey jerk, how's about you stop eating pizza and how's about you jump in a lake? Bye.